What's good, YouTube? I'm the Sneaker Simeon. This week, I bring you part two of my Air Jordan collection. Starting off with the Air Jordan 5. These were the black and silver Air Jordan 5s from 2007. Uh, a friend of mine sold them to me about a year after they released for 20 bucks. He had worn them in pretty good. And as soon as I got them, first thing I did to them was customize them and gave them a fire red midsole. Um, I remember back in 2002 or 2003, I don't remember what year, I just know I was like in the ninth grade. I had discovered a, a picture of a sample from which it was these that had the fire red midsole and I really liked them. And I, I don't know why Jordan Brand never released those, but I liked them and decided to customize these and give them a fire red midsole. Again, these are from 2007. These are not like the um, originals where they have the Nike logo on the back. This has the Jumpman and the 23 stitching, which was uh, based on a sample that Jordan wore himself. These are 13 years old, and they are, as you can see here, cracking. So they are no longer wearable. Um, I'm thinking of trying to grab two pairs of the, I got what year, I want to say 2017 or 2018. I can't remember what year the OG released the, the remastered. I'm trying to get two pairs of those, one to keep as is and one to customize like this. Um, they did come out, I don't know what year it was, with the fire red midsole, but the upper was a silk, which I did not like. And then again, this year they came out, it was the top three fives, which had the fire red midsole with the silver teeth. Here, the shark teeth and uh, the tongue for the grapes. Um, I wasn't a big fan of that. I thought that the the tongue didn't quite sit well with the midsole. So I, I passed on that. But I'm going to try to get two pairs of the, the OG remasters. And basically customize them to look like this. These I'm going to keep and just do a little... Like, test on them, like, learning new things, customizing. So I'm going to use this to just, as a, a test, just to test new um, ideas and stuff. Test paints and dyeing and all that stuff. And maybe turn it into some kind of, like, art piece or something. I don't know. But we'll see what I come up with. Second pair. Another pair of fives. These are from... 2006 yeah 2006 they released August 2006 these are the first pair of Air Jordan 5s I've ever owned these are dressed in black with the university blue the stitching is also university blue these are also starting to crack show you here on the the right shoe as you can see there big chunk is missing there and this shoe is still intact although the paint is cracking but I'm thinking of restoring these some point in the future because I don't see Jordan brand re-releasing these in fact I don't really see many people with these. I don't know how limited these were. But I don't see a lot of people with these. And I don't come across them in social media. Which leads me to believe that they were probably very limited. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I just know that this is a, a very unique colorway for the Air Jordan 5. They have yet to retro. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to try to restore them at some point. Let's move on to the next shoe. 
This shoe is 2015 um, Maroon 6s. These are the first retro of the Maroon 6s. These are the OG remastered with the Nike logo in the back. Uh, the leather on these is very nice. Uh, very soft except for the this back part here it's way a little harder and stiffer than the rest of the shoe another thing I don't like about the shoe is the tongue is bleeding I don't know if you can see that the dye on the tongue is bleeding onto the the liner and I don't like that other than that I, I think it's a dope shoe dope colorway um, I am tempted to repaint the midsole to give it an aged look because I know these are just not gonna yellow on their own because of the layer of paint that it has over it but I'm thinking of either removing that layer of paint and then letting them yellow a little bit and then give it a clear coat or just um painting them like a like a, a yellow or like a sandy color which I've used in other shoes and I think they'll look dope. Uh, this is how I rock them. I uh, tie them up and then I put them in the laces into this like, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it like a lace pocket. These, uh, re I don't know how much, I think they were retailed for $220. But um, someone sold them to me for 100 He had worn them. But they were still in good shape. I actually wore them out way more than he did. And that's why that, I don't know if you can tell. They're very dirty. On the toe area and the midsole. But yeah. I think this is a very dope shoe. And I'm hoping Jordan Bryan releases more sixes and a remastered. Next shoe is the hair sevens this pair is the 2008 pair from the countdown pack which came along with the the black and red 16s these were released in 2008 they still have a lot of life in them uh, i wear them a lot as you can see they're very yellow and dirty these are one of my favorite pairs in my collection um once these go i'm gonna look to replace them if not restore them. Uh, but yeah. I wear these a lot. One of my favorites. One of the. I think in my opinion. The best colorway of the Air Jordan 7. Of the original colorways. I, I believe this is the best. Um, They did retro again. I didn't bother getting them. Since I already had these. But if these end up crumbling. I probably will. Try to grab the other pair. And let's move on to the last shoe. It is the 2007 Grape 8s. These um, are not like the remastered version where it's like a lighter gray on the collar area. Um, these still have a lot of life on the midsole. And a thing that... Um, I find funny is that everyone was upset with the remastered version because of the the glittery paint but I believe the originals did have glittery purple paint. Uh, this paint as you can see because of the age it's cracking. Uh, I'm not planning on restoring these. If these crumble um, I'm probably going to pick up the remastered version. But so far these are holding up pretty well. and. I wear them as often as, as I can, and sometimes I have to re-glue certain parts, but other than that, they're holding up pretty well. So this concludes part one of my Air Jordan collection. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and like. And thanks for watching.